Hi, I'm Trisha. I'm from BSIC 2B and a member of Group 6, and today I'll be sharing my thoughts and opinions about the consequences and effects of global warming. Now, as far as I can remember, global warming has been a problem to us for decades now. And as the inhabitants of Earth, well, we're looking for ways and solutions to fix the problem. Unfortunately, our efforts have not yet been rewarded. But we do hear good news from time to time, like our ozone layer is slowly healing. So that's that. And so, uh, what current events have we experienced um, are, you know, is a, are a cause of global warming? Um, we have the California wildfires, the frequent typhoons, um, melting glaciers, and then um, rising water levels. Now, not only will this negatively impact us environmentally, but also economically. Because, first of all, wildfires, we the people, we people depend on agricultural products. Now, the, you know, the damages that, the, that these wildfires would create, you know, on the lands that we use for our, our, our agricultural products will take time to recover. And so that's going to be a very negative impact to us economically. Now, the typhoons, if I can remember correctly, when we were kids, um, we would rarely experience typhoons, like once every three months, once every four months. But now, we experience it two to four times a month. That's really bad. And melting glaciers. If you have heard news, melting glaciers are actually releasing new viruses and diseases in our air. We're already experiencing a pandemic, guys. And imagine, um, imagine if these new release, newly released viruses and um, diseases from these melted glaciers will come upon us. Oh, I wonder if we can survive. It's it's so it's stressful, really. And yeah. Also, if I go back in time, if I go out at around six a.m. to ten a.m. Um, in the you know outside just to feel the air, uh, I would be I would barely break a sweat in the heat. But if you go out now, even just until 7 a.m., the heat is already going through your skin. That in itself is, is bad news. So, you know, um, let's take little steps. We have already been thought of ways to actually reduce or, you know, to help um, reduce the effects of global warming. Like planting trees, reducing our waste, reducing our carbon footprints, and um, and yeah, we're finding clean and renewable energy, like ele electricity for our day-to-day -day basis. Uh, yeah, daily daily use. So let's take part in those. Let's take action now, so that um, it will not worsen in the future, and uh, you know, we'll be able to slow it down, because. Actually, humans are, you know, the cause of what we experience now. But I'm sure that humans, as always, will find a way to solve, you know, the problems that they create. Now, bottom line, global warming is bad. And let's, let us all take little steps and actions to fix the problem. So that's all. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye! According to the National Climate Assessment, human influences are the number one cause of global warming, especially the carbon pollution which we cause by burning fuels, fuels and the pollution capturing we prevent by destroying forests. The carbon dioxide, methane, soot and other pollutants we release into the atmosphere act like a blanket, trapping the sun's heat and causing the planet to warm. Higher temperatures are worsening many types of disaster, such as storms, heat waves, floods, and droughts. A warmer climate creates an atmosphere that can collect retain and drop more water, changing weather pattern in such a way that wet areas become wetter and dry areas drier. That is why for me, as a youth, I would like to help an organization which educating people how to protect our Mother Earth in such a way that global warming can be lessened. Climate change promises a frightening future, and it's too late to turn back the clock. We've already taken care of that by pumping centuries worth of pollution into the air, nearly unchecked. 
According to Mr. Hack, even if we stopped all carbon dioxide emissions tomorrow, we'd still see some effects. That of course, that is the bad news. But there's also a good news, actually, by aggressively reducing our global emissions now.